What's up? It's your boy Dark Skin. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video over my top five ninjas you should be re-rolling for. Now, this is my personal opinion. Um, there are a lot more ninjas that I would have liked to put in there that were very close, but due to you know, just there's certain standards and certain things that put these five ninjas above the rest. Um, very good ninjas I would like to know is Minato, you know, Bravery, Choji, um, and a few others that were very good candidates to be in there. But for off of my opinion, they didn't make it. So anyway, starting off at number five is Sakura, the Shippuden Sakura. Now the reason why she is, it's not even so much her stats. She has decent stats, but it's it's her utility as in a healer. She's the I feel I believe she's the only person on the game that has buddy heal and her first jutsu is a heal. I feel like I believe everybody else they either have one or the other. Nope, they don't have both. And yes, she doesn't have field skill heal, but buddy healing means that you can stall and you don't have to have her in the front, so you can still have your damage dealer in the front. Oh. Um, so yeah, she has Buddy Heal, which is 150, it's not 120, like Jiraiya. It's 150, which is the highest Buddy Heal we have in the game. And then her, uh, her Jutsu. Um, I can't believe the, I can't remember the number, but I, I believe it's like close to 3,000, something like that. But yeah, so that's, that's really good as far as you have somebody that does good damage and she can heal you. Burst heal and buddy heal, stall heal. So that's why she's at my number five. So next at number four, we have Neji. We have skilled Neji, PTS Neji. The reason why we have him is because at max attack is attack is 1800. Now a, a couple of the people that could have been in this position was oh. Um, Curse, not curse mark, what am I saying? Uh, the Chunin exam Sasuke was pretty good, but he just kind of didn't compete as much. So I left him out, but he was a really good character too. Um, anyways, yeah, so at um, level 100, his attack is 1800. At max limit break, his attack goes all the way up to, I believe, like 2400 or somewhere in that area. That is very very good damage like that's top tier damage and not to mention his first jutsu gives you the ability to immobilize and it's a high chance i think it's like 60 or 70 percent and then his ultimate jutsu is gives the ability of sealing jutsus so he has a lot of utility high damage yes his range is short but the amount of damage he's giving and the utility he has makes him a very high tier character so neji a cage bird will be my number four going in at number three is Tsunade. now a lot of people have had speculation as to which one you know who's the better healer Tsunade, sakura in my personal opinion if you're thinking of healers sakura hands down no competition 100 percent because she has burst healing and buddy healing that is something Tsunade does not have now if you're going for attack damage Tsunade is who you want because at level 100 six stars Tsunade her attack damage is also I believe like 1800 and if you max limit break her it goes up to like 2200 that is a lot of damage especially for a healer so not only can you have her in the front, you can also burst heal with her. And she has like the most healing in the game. It's like 3200, 3280 or something like that. So she has the most healing in the game and she has very high damage. So that's what, that's why she's number three. Now, like I was saying, if you're going off of who you want as a healer, I take Sakura because she gives you the buddy heal. Now, if you're going off of damage and healing, then yes, Tsunade would be the pick. She's very top tier, a lot of utility. The, you don't really use her ultimate Jutsu, but her regular Jutsu for healing is really good, and she has high damage. 
coming in at my number two, I have Rock Lee. Now, a lot of people, now I was kind of iffy about this because I, it was like on and off for me. But the reason why I chose him is because you cannot deny Rock Lee has so much damage. And this reroll, these top five reroll isn't only about damage, but it's the simple fact his utility, like, his, his damage at level 100 is 2204. Max limit break him, and it's 2700. That is the most attack in the game than anybody else. So, at max limit break him, do his ultimate jutsu to give him the attack boost, and then doing his jutsu, that is immense. That is crazy damage. The only person that can compete with him in damage is one-tailed Naruto. That's who I have at number one. The reason why I have one-tailed Naruto at number one is because at uh, level 100, he has more attack damage than Rock Lee. He has 2,400. Rock Lee is only at 2,200. And then, Naruto, his first Jutsu gives him a 50% attack boost. And that can pretty much triple all the way to 150 so if you do 150 and then do his ultimate to anybody he's hitting 62,000 damage but if it is wisdom type it's but the multiplier is like three more times it or whatever so Naruto is the only one that competes with Rock Lee as far as being the best damage dealer now if you want to go off of regular just flat Rock Lee at max limit break is way stronger than Naruto. But if you want to go by Naruto's multipliers, Naruto's multipliers are the best. He makes him the strongest unit in the game. You can multiply his by 150% and then do a basic attack for like 6,500 damage. There, you can't compete with that. And he, he, he can literally one-shot almost any boss. Like... If you bring two one tail Naruto's to any boss raid, S rank, whatever, it's going to be a piece of cake. Like, literally, Naruto, Curse Mark Sasuke, Jiraiya is OP. Period. So, anyways, that's going to be my top five uh, ninjas to be re rolling for. Be sure to go give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Put a comment in the comment box below. Um, I want to start streaming. On weekends and then like the night of the update like when the update drops the next following night so uh, I'll start doing that but anyways I will see you guys next time peace